if you're trying to figure out how much heat you've added to the air by going across a coil or a heat exchanger, then you can use the standard air formula. So you've probably seen this before where the BTUs an hour equals 1.08 times CFM times your temperature difference or delta T. Where that came from is this is the actual full longhand version of that calculation. So what you have to figure in is you have to figure out your specific heat, which for air, it's 0.24 BTUs per pound times your specific density. That specific density changes by the temperature of the air times minutes per hour, which is always 60 times your CFM times temperature difference. So what they end up doing is they figure standard air. So you're not doing real high temperatures or real low temperatures. So you're always at 0.075 cubic feet per pound. And then there's 60 minutes in an hour always, and you're always 0.24 BTUs per pound. So they take all that times out. And once they get that multiplied out, then you end up with this 1.08 constant. That's where this formula comes from. Other than standard air, you have to change the constant of 1.08. So the sensible heat correction, constant correction factor equals 0.243 specific heat of moist air, which is your 0.24 BTUs per pound times your 60 minutes per hour divided by the specific volume of air in cubic feet per pound at that temperature. So for example, if 13.3 cubic feet a pound of standard air at 70 degrees, you need the specific density, then you just take one divided by 13.33 cubic feet per pound to get the specific density of standard air at 0.075 pounds per cubic foot. That's how you can change it. Then you just take your 1.08, or if you have a correction factor one, then you take that, your new correction factor times your CFM that you've read, times your temperature difference, and that will tell you what your actual BTUs are of that unit or coil.